Okay, this evening I'm going to show you how to uh, use a Debbie Moore CD and to use one of the images for print and cut on your Silhouette Cameo. Now the first thing you have to do is bring up your image as you normally would as a PDF. Um, and then you would go to Edit and Take a Snapshot. Once you've got Take a Snapshot, you're going to select the images by holding down your left uh, button on your mouse and selecting the area. You get a message saying the selected area has been copied and you can put OK. If you have um, drawing or photo software, you can then copy um, copy this. It's already copied. You can paste it into that software. However, if you haven't, every computer, I think, has the paint program. If you're not sure whether you have it or not, and you should have it, on Windows 8, you would come up to here, go to search and put in paint. Um, if you have Windows that's before Windows 8, I believe if you come down to the left hand side, you'll have a search box somewhere around here if you click on start and you should be able to put in paint and the paint program will come up. So here's the paint program and I'm going to go across and press paste. The reason we've done that is that this now will become um, an image with a file that can be opened in the Silhouette Cameo Studio. So I'm now going to say file and I'm going to save it as. You have a choice here. Um, normally people would pick a JPEG or a PNG. I like PNG because the backgrounds tend to be transparent with PNG. I'm going to name this <coughs> DM1 and I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then I can bring these down. Now I open up my Cameo software and I'm going to change my page size, sorry, change my page size to A4 because I don't have an A3 printer. Put on show registration marks and then I'm going to say file open and I'm going to go to my desktop. Now as you can see, or as you can't see, the image is missing. That's because we're looking for files of type Silhouette Studio. If you click on the drop down arrow we can put PNG because that's what I saved it as and this is where I was practicing earlier and here's the one I've just saved so I press OK and immediately we now have our images in our Cameo software ready to do our print and cut I'm going to use my knife tool um, I believe because I have the designer edition I have more options with the knife tool I'm going to set curve I'm just going to separate these ladies apart like that. Double click at the end. Now this works because I'm treating unfilled shapes as a solid. And if I go like that, I can select that lady and cut her from the page. And take her into my A4 page. I'm going to put her there. Please make sure that you never encroach upon the hashed area because if you do that your print and cut won't work properly now I'm going to go to select trace area I'm going to hold down my left button on my mouse and select my trace area that's not too good so I'm going to take it high pass filter and I'm going to put the threshold right up and actually it's gone up to 100 which is quite high I'm going to trace the outer edge and I'm just going to separate them out. Now, if we select this now, I don't know whether you can see it, but it's very jagged. And that means there'll be an it will be very memory intensive. And if we click on here, which is the point editing edit point feature, you'll see there are loads of points on there. So I'm going to simplify it. And if you just keep clicking simplify it will reduce the number of points and simplify the image. Sometimes you click simplify too many times and you then need to go in and adjust slightly. But for my purposes, I'm just going to keep going a bit until that looks more reasonable. If I slide the young lady across, it doesn't look too bad. And I could then join them up and group and there I have my print and cut of my Debbie Moore lady. I hope that's helpful. 
and if you have any questions please ask.